A very good afternoon from the small village of Downham. It is said to be one of the prettiest in the county of Lancashire here in Great Britain. The aim of this video though is ultimately to make it all the way over to that hill and up to the top of it so I can take in some of the incredible views of the Ribble Valley and the forest of Boland. It is covered in cloud at the moment, but fingers crossed by the time we get there, it will be clear and we'll have some incredible views. But before that, I wanna take a quick walk through this village and I wanna tell you about a movie that was recorded here in the 1960s and how it relates to one of my musical heroes, Mr. Jim Steinman. Let's go. I did read that they've tried to keep this village as traditional as possible by maintaining the stone walls and not allowing electricity pylons to be displayed, aerials to be on houses, satellite dishes and all that kind of thing. So for the most part, it does look like it would have done a hundred years ago when you're walking through. Population of the village is just a couple of hundred. And I love these little stone houses on both sides of the street. Really, really picturesque. Lovely gardens as well. So just to give you a bit of information as I'm showing you the sights on that Jim Steinman Whistle Down the Wind connection. So Whistle Down the Wind was a film from the 1960s. It was filmed here in this village, as I said. I'm gonna take you over and show you this lovely little bridge. And uh, Jim Steinman and Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote the music and lyrics to the musical Whistle Down the Wind in the 1990s. Andrew Lloyd Webber it was his project and he asked Jim Steinman to write the lyrics, which he did. It's a great soundtrack if you're interested. We are definitely in Great Britain. By the way, if you don't know who Jim Steinman is, definitely give him a listen. He is an incredible lyricist. He is uh, a great writer of what they call rock opera. This massive bombastic sounding rock music that is actually better than you think and probably better than I'm describing it. If you, uh, if you want to give it a listen, try listening to his Bat Out of Hell album. It is phenomenal. I am going to cross this little quaint stone bridge and head back to the car, make it to the trailhead of Pendle Hill, and then we'll see if we can get to the top. Some incredible views of the rolling countryside already. I've just parked my car along this road, sort of halfway between Twiston and Bali, and I've been assured by two hikers who are on their way down that this is indeed a bridleway that leads to the top of Pendle Hill. Got to go across this cattle grid. So what I'm hoping to do is a circular walk, essentially. If you follow this driveway up, there are steps that go over on the right side, all the way to the top, follow the top along, and then come down a gentle slope around kind of here to come back to this same pathway. So that's what I'm hoping to do. A little further up and it says no footpath, private road, Pendle side farm. So it's gotta be this way. There is some interesting demolished partly buildings around here. And that's, where I have just come from. So I was about to say before my battery ran out a minute ago that Pendle Hill is 557 meters. That is 1,827 feet. So that is not too much of a challenge. And I would say I should be able to tackle the whole thing in a couple of hours, but we will see. The local sheep are keeping an eye on me. I'm trying to figure out who I am probably. Okay, well I've just come to this little wooden fence here, lots of signs on it, but nothing saying that this is the correct way for the trail. But I'm pretty sure it is. So I will make my way through. So having said I hadn't seen any signs, 
here is a sign and this is the route I'm going to be doing so you can see I'm going to be taking what they're calling the challenging route to the top and then the moderate route all the way back down again I'm going to keep an eye out for dotterels, kestrels, bilberry, heather and plenty of uneven ground I have no idea how those sheep got there but that is the trail behind me absolutely beautiful I can't wait to get to the other side or, or to the top so I can see the other side we should be able to see Clithero from up there which I think is the other side of the hill and while I'm heading up I'm getting close to the top seeing some more sheep there but uh, I should say that this hill and this surrounding area here is the forest of Boland. So there are two areas in the forest of Boland. And uh, one of them I visited the other day. Check out my video for that one. It was a rainy day, but it was a good one. Hello there. How are you doing? Checking me out and keeping an eye on me. And then, of course, this video, which is all about Pendle Hill and the amazing views that I'm gonna get from the top. Whoa, it is hard work though. The coat has come off. The waterproof bottoms have come off. Well, I've got trousers underneath, by the way, just in case you're wondering. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Temperature is actually not that cold and I can see a fence up ahead. So we're making some great progress. I've reached the plateau. There's the stone wall I was just referring to. And up ahead, it looks like it's getting cloudy. The weather's definitely changed just in the last couple of moments. It has got a lot windier and a little bit rainy. I can see the trig point up ahead. Not far to go now, but it is exceptionally windy. And as said, it is starting to rain a little bit. If it starts to rain too much, I'm gonna put this camera away and get the GoPro out because the GoPro's waterproof. I'll be able to carry on the video. I had some problems. I had some problems with this camera when I was recording my Forest of Boland adventure in the rain. I got some condensation in the lens and it took about 24 hours for it to clear. So I had to finish off the video in the forest of Boland by using the GoPro. It is exceptionally windy. This is a great test for the new camera's microphone. It is supposed to be very good at handling the wind noise, so we will see. But I am just a few meters now from the trig point and while I'm here, let me just quickly tell you that this area of Pendle Hill is famous for the Pendle Witch Trials, which happened in 1612. And also at the top of the hill here, they found an ancient burial site from the Bronze Age, would you believe? Right, let me just stop that flapping in the wind. Whoa, okay, here's the trick point. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I'm glad I got here. I didn't think it was gonna be possible earlier today. The forecast was rain and it was raining heavy, but I am here nonetheless. And uh, while I'm here, let me just show you some of these amazing views behind me. Probably not as good as it could be because the cloud and mist has rolled in on the other side. On the other side, I can't really see too much, but here's the views. Look at that, beautiful rolling countryside of the Forest of Boland, area of outstanding natural beauty here in England. Whoa. 
right, I think I am going to head back down the scenic way, so they told me the gentler route, which I think is in that direction. Getting closer to the bottom, the trees over there, the other side of that is where the car is parked. But I thought I would just give you a sense of what the paths coming down are like. As we saw on the sign earlier, the steps are the steepest route up and the quickest route. Uh, glad I took them, they, uh, they were good to use on the way up. But this slope here is pretty easy to follow getting down, so uh, I'm glad I took this way coming down you also get some great views over the side of the mountain as you're coming down I am back down to where I parked the car which is just on the right side of that junction there and I'm glad to report I'm back down safe and sound just a little bit wet but nothing too bad and uh, it has taken me two hours to get up and down and that included stopping quite a lot to take photographs and videos as I always do, but has been a great experience. Thanks for joining me in the hikes of the top of Pendle Hill in the forest of Boland. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Loads more coming from England over the coming months, I'm sure. But for now, I'll leave you with a view of Pendle Hill clouded over at the top. Good night from the forest of Boland in Lancashire, England.